A local butcher shop that's been open for nearly 40 years in West Lafayette is growing its business. News Channel 18's Jesse Huila takes us to the Boilermaker Butcher Block where they are expanding their meat products and distribution. Jesse? Yeah, Dan, the uh, Boilermaker Butcher Block has been a longtime Lafayette area business that not many people have heard of. A Purdue grad and Lafayette resident for more than 50 years that I spoke with this afternoon says she just heard about the meat retailer this year. The manager says that for those that like to buy their food locally, this shop is about as local as you can get. Known as an agricultural powerhouse, Purdue University runs a house of meats that few have heard about. The Boilermaker Butcher Shop, located in the Smith Building on campus, is a student-assisted butcher shop that sells locally bred, fed, slaughtered, and packaged meat products. The whole process happens in West Lafayette. And they help for all, all of what we do, from the, from the harvesting the animal to cutting it up, packaging, selling through retail, they, they do it all. There are dozens of selections of beef, chicken, pork, lamb, and even goat meat, all of which is high quality and Indiana State Board of Animal Health inspected and approved. Michael Booth says that even with their long list of selections, the business is expanding. We're uh, planning on making a lot of new products. We're uh, doing the cheese salami and cheese broths and different, different items that we haven't had before. All of the money made from the meats and cheeses sold at the butcher shop goes back into programs to help educate students. Even the proceeds from this Purdue Ag Alumni Swiss cheese go towards scholarship funding, all at what Booth calls a comparable price. We're pretty comparable to the grocery stores and meat shops. We're uh, high quality meat, so we run pretty good prices on what you get. Booth said that the Boilermaker Butcher Block is the only university-run and operated meat retailer in the state. Jesse Hawila, News Channel 18.